Hi, in previous lecture I discussed Turing machine introduction, its seven tuple, instantaneous description, representation of Turing machine. It can be represented in two ways. One is transition diagram, another is transition table and block diagram of Turing machine that contain infinite tape, read write head and FCU. Let's discuss some more points about Turing machine. Turing machine is an abstract model of real computing model. So real computer what can do, Turing machine also can do same thing. The computing power of Turing machine equal to computing power of RAM or computer. That's why it is called as an abstract model of real computing model. Computing power is same as RAM or computer. Every mathematical function which is computable can be implemented by Turing machine. I already discussed in a question that multiplication you cannot do in PDA as multiplication operation cannot be done on stack. But here you can do multiplication, division, you can do all the mathematical function that can be computable. Turing machine can be designed as language acceptor, language generator or enumerator then input output device language acceptor means it will accept some string language generator or enumerate means it will give some output and input output device means you can give some input and you can get some output turing machine can be constructed in two model one is deterministic turing machine another is non-deterministic turing machine and expressive power of both deterministic turing machine and non-deterministic turing machine are equal both can accept same language. In case of PDA, expressive power of NPDA and DPDA was different, but here it is equal. In case of finite automata, DFA and NFA expressive power is same. In case of Turing machine, DTM and NTM expressive power is same. Deterministic Turing machine is more efficient than non-deterministic Turing machine. Turing machine as language acceptor. Turing machine accept every language accepted by FA and PDA also accept some language which are not accepted by PDA. You already know for regular language you can design FA, for contest free language you can design PDA and for recursive enumerable language you can design Turing machine. And FA is subset of PDA and PDA is subset of Turing machine. So the language that can be accepted by finite automata and PDA that also can be accepted by Turing machine. Also it will accept some language that are not PDA but can accepted by Turing machine. Turing machine is more powerful than FA and PDA. Yes, as it is superset of FA and PDA. Then expressive power of Turing machine is 4 as it can accept regular language contest free language, contest sensitive language and recursive enumerable language. Expressive power of finite automata is 1, expressive power of PDA is 2, expressive power of LBA is 3 but expressive power of Turing machine is 4, it accepts all the language. The language accepted by Turing machine is called recursive enumerable language. Acceptance by Turing machine, after taking input string, there are three possibility in Turing machine. First, it may go to final halt, means it may go to final state and stop there. Second, it may go to non-final halt, it may reach to non-final state and it can stop there. There is no move from that non-final state. Then third, it may go to loop. So after reading input string, if Turing machine goes to final halt, then input string is accepted by Turing machine. If it reaches non-final halt, then input string is rejected by Turing machine. So where it goes, whether it is final state or non-final state, according to that, it will accept or reject. If on input string, the Turing machine goes to infinite loop, then acceptance is undecidable. In some cases, it may go to infinite loop and that is undecidable. So the halting problem of Turing machine is undecidable. It is undecidable due to this. It may go to loop. In case of loop, you cannot say it is accept or reject. That's why it is undecidable. If Turing machine accept the regular language, then header movement is always right. In case of PDA, when you design PDA for regular language, we just skip Z0 and we reach to final state. Here also, you will just go to right and you will reach to final state. 
If you are designing Turing machine for regular language, then header movement is always right. If Turing machine constructed for accepting non-regular language, means context-free, context-sensitive, or recursive animal language, then header movement is both left and right. Hence, halt is not guaranteed, it may go to loop. If it is both left and right, there may be chances of loop. The Turing machine goes to loop if the header movement is both left and right. If it move only right, then there is no chances of loop. If it move both left and right, then there is a chances of loop. The transition function cannot be defined for epsilon as epsilon cannot be placed on tape. Tape only contain input string, input alphabet plus blank. It cannot contain epsilon, that's why we cannot do any transition for epsilon. If QF is the final halt, means QF is the final state, then no transition allowed for QF. So for final state, no transition is allowed. So that's why minimum number of state will be 2. Because from final state, you cannot do any transition. This much is enough for introduction of Turing machine. In next lecture, I will construct Turing machine for regular language. Thank you.